Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will see how we can create a Flask website in Python. So in the previous video, we saw how to create a Django website in Python Anywhere. Today's video will focus on Flask web app. So Python Anywhere, as I discussed in the previous video, it's completely dedicated to Python web framework. For example, Flask, Django, Bottle, Web2Py. So most of the things is already done in Python Anywhere. It means you don't have to build up from scratch so most of the backend things is is already done you just have to upload your code to python anywhere and do a little bit of modification and your website will be up and running let's start without any delay so first of all you will have to log in to python anywhere so go to a new tab and type techieblogging.com slash python anywhere don't worry i will put this link in the description you can click directly on that as well now you will be redirected to this page and you will see option called pricing and sign up which will give you a lot more details about their plans and pricing so basically they have two category of uh, plans beginners it's completely free but obviously it is a limited account and you will get less number of uh, resources in comparison to their paid accounts you can also check their paid accounts here now if you want to develop a fully fledged uh, python web framework uh, application then definitely you should go with uh, paid plans because uh, you can use uh, custom domain in case of paid plan only not uh, with free plan you will also have uh, unlimited uh, internet access in paid plans which is not the case in a free plan so in this case just to show you a demonstration i will go with the beginner plan that is completely free so click on create a beginner's account and you will be able to see this form so fill up these forms username email password and type the password again don't forget to check the box i agree to terms and condition and click on register after you click on register you will get a email in your email address just verify it and log in again and let me log in as i have already created the account in my previous video i no need to go through all these steps let me just click on login and provide my credentials and click on login now click on my dashboard so first of all we'll have to create a virtual environment for that just click on consoles so consoles is basically provide us a cli so click on bash and uh, we will be able to see a black screen like this and uh, this is the cli whatever command you want you have to create a console you have to come here and execute command so first thing first we will create a virtual environment so let's create that virtual environment by executing command mk virtual env and then virtual environment name i will give the virtual environment name as v env so let hit enter and it will create a virtual environment now virtual environment is already created as you can see bracket and within that bracket we can see v now the virtual environment is created the next step is to upload all the flask uh, files for that go to files let me open it in a new tab and uh, here we will be able to see the virtual envs and click on that and this is the virtual environment name click on that again and here we'll have to upload all the files which are related to our flask web app so click on upload a file i'll go to download sections and flask demo so this is the zip file where all the files which are related to my flask web app is uh, stored so i have already tested this in my local environment that's why i am directly uploading it but i suggest you to test it in your local desktop and then try to upload it in python anywhere so let me just click on open which will upload uh, the zip file we can see the zip file here now what we will do we will go back to the bash console which is the cli go inside the uh, dot virtual environments and then cd v e n v this is where we have uploaded our zip file you can verify that by, by executing the command ls hyphen l we can see flask demo dot zip now we'll have to unzip it so execute the command unzip flask demo dot zip hit enter and it will extract all the files now again execute the command ls hyphen l 
and we will be able to see a folder called flask demo master now go inside this folder flask demo hyphen master and uh, here execute ls hyphen l and uh, you will be able to find a file called requirement.txt so basically i strongly recommend to create a file called requirements.txt and uh, in this particular file you will have to provide all the libraries that is needed for your python web app for example if i will read the requirements.txt file i can see a library called flask which is needed for flask web app wfast cgi so wfast cgi is basically for uh, installing flask application in windows i have already done that in one of my videos i will give the link in the card section you can also watch that and learn how to deploy flask web app in windows server now in order to install all the libraries which are mentioned in the requirements.txt we'll have to execute a command pip install hyphen r and then the file name which is requirements.txt hit enter and it will basically download all the libraries from the python.org archive and it will install it in this particular virtual environment the installation process is completed here now let's go back to dashboard and uh, in dashboard we'll have to go to the section called web so here we'll have to create a web app now click on add a new web app and uh, click on uh, next and uh, here click on manual configuration because we will be doing the manual configuration click on that select the python version let's select the latest version that is python 3.9 and uh, then click on uh, next our web app is now created and you will be able to see a url here so this is the url with which you will be able to access your web app so if i will open it in a new tab see this page so this is basically the default uh, page of flask application which is uh, created for us now we will have to do a lot of configuration in order to make our web app uh, active so first thing first let's uh, go a little bit uh, down and you will be able to see a section called code and here we will have to provide the source code so that we can get it uh, from the command line so let's go back to the dashboard again and click on the console that is already we have created and uh, here if i will execute a command called pwd then this will give us the path where all our flask related apps are present just copy it and go back uh, to the web app page click on this particular uh, red uh, words and uh, type the path that we have copied and just click on this tick button so if nothing goes wrong then uh, you will be able to see the path here now you will be able to see a file called wsgi.py so we will have to configure it so let's open it in new tab and here we will have to find a section called flask so here it is now whatever is present above this line we will just have to so just select all and uh, remove it and uh, then we'll have to remove few of the hash that is mentioned here so first of all import sys remove the hash in front of it and then the path here and then this particular four line we'll have to modify modify in the sense we'll just have to remove the hash here now you can see the path option here so inside this variable we'll have to put our path where our flask application is situated so in my case it is slash home slash uh, my username dot virtual envs vnv and flask demo hyphen master now the row number 17 and 18 it will remain as it is and uh, row number 20 flask main flask f file here we will have to provide our files name so in our case it's actually a flask uh, uh, demo now if you are confused about it then let me tell you what file i am ref and if i will give ls hyphen l in command line so this is the file here in your case it may be different but this is the file where all your code is written so let me just show it to you and this is the code that i have written 
for my flask web app so in your case it may be different so make sure you provide the correct file name now once you complete the editing here just uh, click on control just press uh, control s which will save this file you can also click on this button called save and once you do that you can close this file there is nothing needed here now go back to web app setup page and uh, now there is a section called virtual env so there also we'll have to provide the path for our virtual environment which is this is the path let me just uh, copy it and uh, paste it here so up to vnb you should mention here from slash home just click on that and uh, if the path is correct then you will not find any error now go a little bit uh, down you will find a section called static files so basically if you have a folder which contains on your all your static files such as css javascript then you'll have to provide the path here now how to provide that basically you write static here and give a slash and uh, give the tick mark here then provide the complete path for example if you have a static file under the folder flask demo hyphen master then you will have to provide the path of the folder static and then click on tick button so i don't have any static files in this app that's why i'm going to delete it but definitely in your case it should be there now the next section is security here nothing much to do you just have to enable force https now the https configuration is already done in backend you don't have to do any extra configuration for this you just have to enable force https and uh, that's all i believe that's all the configuration that we have to do now the final thing that you're supposed to do is that go up and you reload this web app so whatever configuration you have done so far after you reload it it will become effective so nothing went wrong so if anything is wrong then uh, this reload will not happen and you will be able to see some errors below it in our case nothing happened so the web app is ready now let's go back to the default uh, web app page here and now let me just refresh it and see if our python web app is working or not so it's working so you can see hello world here so this is a very basic application that is written on flask but uh, if you are developing full-fledged uh, application then we'll be able to see many things and one thing you may have noticed that uh, the lock button is here i didn't do anything extra so automatically our web app is redirected to https version that is a good thing in terms of uh, security so that's all for this video i hope you like the video and you got the idea how to host flask web app in python anywhere so let me put your comment or if you have any question in the comment section i will try to answer them don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that uh, whatever new video i upload in my channel you will get a notification immediately